everything stops, it gives you time to seriously consider what's been happening to you. This can often lead to a big drop in your spirit, leaving you feeling depressed and uninterested. Although it's natural to feel this way after all you've been through, don't just accept these feelings as normal. Go and see your doctor for advice on getting support and talk to your friends and family about how you feel. I don't really know what depression is. I've never had it, so I wouldn't know if I was going to suffer from it. Um, but people can project apathy, and that's where the dark cloud can be. If there's no positive uh, feedback from people, you know, and it's all doom and gloom. I never thought that I, I suffered with it, you know. Uh, but I think, you know, really, there's a lot of people that do, and I think there's a lot of them that don't realise that they're suffering from it, like myself. I think it's a word that people don't like to use, you know, thinking that they're depressed, you know, that they're down and out and gloomy, you know. And I don't think that's that's the type of depression that it is, you know. People tend to think bereavement is related to death, but it isn't. It can be related to illness in the fact that you're losing your ability to do something or other. But it's important that if you keep a, if you keep something down too much, there's going to be an explosion at some stage, and that can dab, damage you physically and mentally. People do not like talking about cancer. Uh, it's a taboo subject. They don't like using the word cancer. They will say your condition, your disease, they'll use all these euphemisms, but by calling a, a cancer a cancer, you can fight it. I think even just discussing it with somebody gives you another perspective on it. But I think also uh, it's a matter of, you know, if you share it with somebody, they may come up with something that you haven't thought of. <laughs>